Right, so I'm gonna give you a demonstration about the uh, graph that I was talking about. I currently have this power supply under load. It's one of the projects that I did. I wanted to make it 10 amps. And I have the driver board and everything set to like 12 amps. Unfortunately, the, the transformer is not capable of delivering that, that much current but it serves good for this purpose so you can uh, see the the ranges and the marginal errors that i was talking about in the previous video okay so we're gonna crank it up slowly and you're gonna see the discrepancy between the the, the setup and the actual amp okay so just going to set it to 1 amp okay so you see the marginal error b between them and the current here says uh, uh, 800 milliamps it's, uh, it doesn't have the other digit because <coughs> it measures high currents and we are slowly gonna creep up to 10 amps the max that it's gonna gonna give out you're gonna see the voltage drop obviously because uh, the transformer is not cap the transformer is not capable of delivering those currents okay so I got myself 3.1 amps as a initial setup and you have 3.08 uh, this 3.08 is exactly the margin I was talking about okay uh, you see here the amps as well it says 3 amps the amp on the power the amp meter on the power supply is off by 20 to 30 milliamps so you wanna keep check on that okay and you have the voltage here on, on the power supply you see that it's going up but in the reality is that is just now it's a uh, 5.2 also the voltmeter connected here it's 5.2 the reason why it, uh, why it creeps up is because of the noise from the transformer so you wanna you wanna remember that when you do this kind of like you know r d like voltmeters you want to add a filter or something so you'll be sure you have the correct readout anyway let's go on i'm gonna climb up to 5 amps okay so you have the the middle scale that it basically begins to balance balance out between the initial setup and the actual readout after I, I reach a certain threshold you're gonna see that the amp readout is going to be slightly higher than the, the initial setup also due to that marginal error but say so before that's uh, not important with this uh, electronic load so I'm just gonna Gonna do 10 amps. I just press on the button and it's gonna creep out to your desired amps basically. okay so we got the other climbing upwards as I said so before due to the ramp and you know the graph that I did I said it and I wanted to to average out my uh, my setup and uh, feedback and uh, you have a big voltage drop from here this one says uh, 5 volts. Now the reason why it says 5 volts because I'm actually 
measuring the voltage from the leads from the output leads of the power supply but if I hook it up on the <coughs> input leads of the electronic load it basically says the same same readout obviously so you got the you know minute voltage drop in the conductors which is always important for when you have to do a high current measurement for your leads to be as thick as possible and sure as possible so you won't be tricked by that right so now i'm going to show you the maximum out, uh, power that this device can handle without going into thermal shutdown it it can go up to 400 watts okay but you know it needs a slightly higher you know like fan cooling and all that stuff but it it can can withstand 380 watts without going into thermal shutdown so i'm gonna show you the alarms i'm gonna do an uh, overcurrent alarm and then i'm gonna do a uh, overpower and well basically it's the same with the vol voltages and uh, and the temperature but you know just to give you an idea about what you what what are you gonna see? Okay, so I'm just gonna hook it up. This is a 20 amp switch mode power supply. So you you see here the um, the initial amps and the actual uh, amps beginning to balance their self, cells out because due, due to due to the operational amplifier doing its job and it's beginning to <coughs> balance themselves out. But uh, anyway, so you'll see the wattage. So I'm just gonna go all the way up till I have the overpower alarm. Okay. So let's just keep it nice and pressed. Just going. Okay, we at three hundred. Uh, we are reaching three fifty. Okay, as you can see, the the amp ranges stay between the limits that I wanted it to be set at. The fans already kicked in, as you can see, at temperatures beginning to go up okay we're reaching 400 watts okay got 18 amps 400 watts so I'm gonna go over that and you're gonna see the alarm and also buzz buzzing your brains out Shit. It's a good feature though. Okay. Okay, overload 400 watt. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do now is unhook it. Okay. So I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do an overamp. Gonna put it above 20 amps so you're gonna have a readout at over power over amp and all that stuff i'm just gonna do it from here and then i'm gonna hook it up you're gonna see what am i talking about 20.6 okay should be pretty good hold on to your ears So you got the overcurrent and wattage, so you have both of them. Okay, that's noisy. So when I got when, when I have the, the alarms in the buzz, the the controller also sets, uh, shuts down the, 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 the DAC. So basically, it cuts out the the, the control signal for the final stage. So you won't have any unexpected surprises so to say so it 
keeps on buzzing it unhooks it and then it does another readout and that <coughs> when the readout is finished it hooks it up again then he's gonna see the alarm so you're gonna have like a continuous cycle with that